Hi, family. I'm Stephanie Wade. I'm Habasia. It's an acronym for helping your brothers and sisters in Africa. I was given an inspiration for this nonprofit many years ago by my ancestors. I just pretty much just wrote it down. It's like information that's already inside of my head that I just pretty much just, like I say, write it down. I don't think of what can, what can I do. I just pretty much just know that it's there and just write it down. I have all type journals that deal with lots of planning for the future. So I, I know my purpose. I just pray that I live long enough to fulfill my entire purpose or at least plant seeds so other people can pick up the baton and go forward with the ideas that's been planted inside of me by the ancestors. Many years ago, I saw lots of different movies that was made for African Americans, since I'm speaking from the perspective of an African American because I was born in the USA and raised in the USA. Some people call it black exploitation, but I call it speaking from the uh, from the interests of the person that you're catering to, and in that aspect. It was African-Americans, finally African-Americans. Because when I first grew up, all I saw was things that was made for the quote, majority, meaning people that didn't look like me. I used to want to wake up and look like Sleeping Beauty, which was the ideal woman back then, which was blonde hair and blue eyes. That, that's crazy, I know, but back then, I thought that was pretty much normal. And I saw on one of these uh, news shows, I will not say the name, but uh, one of the people on there, she was saying that uh, the actor who portrayed Black Panther had also portrayed other heroes in the black community and she said oh i don't know about james brown he he portrayed james brown but i know that as for all the characters that he played the one that influenced me the most was james brown because before said loud i'm black and i'm proud it was an insult to be called black and after that it was the highest compliment to be black. And you was felt like you were so blessed to be black, not knowing in the beginning. It was like in a, in a movie, Planet of the Apes, instead of us being the apes, <laughs> we were the people at the top, running everything and starting the world and everything in it. All the educational systems started off in Egypt. And it was with the land of black people. So as I learn, I'm inspired to share. So anyway, what made me do this video today was another YouTuber. She's a sweet YouTuber based out of Ghana, I won't say any names, but she was covering uh, beauty by herself. What can you do to make yourself feel good when your family is away, self-help, self-care. And it was sad because some of the self-care we do is because we're trying to fit in with somebody else's idea of beauty. So maybe instead of it being uh, Caucasian aspects of beauty is what 
the person themselves imagine an African idea of beauty is if you're living in the motherland. And if you feel like since you're not 100% African that you have to somehow improve on your Africanness by changing some aspect of yourself to make yourself more African. I could identify with her because I remember my mother telling me how she was treated because of her skin tone because she was a, a high yellow. This is my mom. And she said people weren't nice to her when she was growing up. Somehow they imagined somehow some mystery Caucasian person was treating her better than they were treating her because of her skin tone. When she lived in the house with the same two chocolate parents that everybody else had and in the same Negro colored whatever community as everyone else. So nobody was there to even treat her any better, but they definitely treated her in a negative way when they should have been loving her because she was their sister, you know? So I like to say today that we are not our complexions. We are not our behinds. There's no such thing as an African booty, you know? Everybody has a butt, and you get it from your creators, your parents, all of your ancestors before you that you won the DNA lottery, and that DNA set created you. You are a legion of many, and that's why you look like you are. We have to learn to love our unique beauty there is no other but you. And we have to embrace us. I remember I used to have uh, sister locks. I mean, my hair grew down to the middle of my back. And it was fine, but it was not a sustainable thing. When my sister lock technician left town, I had to try to find someone else to maintain those sister locks. And it was at a premium. They cost more and very bad attitude at that. It was like they thought that they was just God's gift to creation because they could do sister locks. And so I decided that I would never be like that again, depending on someone else to maintain my hair. So I cut it off little by little until I was back to a natural that I could control. If I want to put extensions in it, from braiding, not that weave stuff. You know, if I want to put some artificial hair in my head and make braids as a style to rest my hair, I'll do that. But for right now, I'm happy with my natural hair. I don't change the color, I'm enjoying my gray. If I want to wear afro, I do. If I want to wear bantu knots, I do. If I want to wear afro, I do. If I want to wear my hair coverings, I do. And I wear my hair coverings a lot because it frees me from having to worry about how my hair looks before I do anything. I wish that everybody could feel free to just be themselves. Just be yourself. This is a picture of my dad, and I know it's a young picture of him, but unfortunately, my sweet father, he was, he died in an accident when he was only 21 years old. So this is a picture when he graduated high school. So he really wasn't much older than that. Just some years in the future. But he was a beautiful chocolate man, black man, African man. And because of him, half of me exists <laughs> because of my mom, the other half. I love all the aspects of me. 
I don't have to prove my Africanness to anybody. I just am. I love my motherland and I love my people here in the United States. I love my people in the diaspora, no matter where it is, I love my people in the motherland. I get along fine with everybody and they love me back. I'm not gonna lie and say I haven't had any problems with people in the past, but I guarantee you, it wasn't because they were African or anything. It was because they were just people. And as people, we have flaws, all of us, including me. It's just that the older we get, all of a sudden, what we used to do seems cute to people. Or they say, oh, that's just how Stephanie is, you know. She's just like that. But we are who we are until we decide to do something new. I'm still working on my trip to the motherland as I get closer and closer I'll be making private videos and I will release them upon my arrival to the motherland because as a superstitious person I just don't want to jinx anything I'm just looking at my little note to see. Yeah, this 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 was about body acceptance. That's all, just body acceptance. Seeing yourself the way you are, loving the skin you're in. You don't have to bleach yourself to be any different color. You don't have to sit under sunlights trying to tan yourself to get darker <laughs> or suntan lotion to get darker you should just be yourself and who loves you will love you just the way you are if you have to change for somebody's acceptance they they are not worth your acceptance anyway you don't have to beg anybody to love you and like I was saying on previous videos if you're guilty of pointing fingers at somebody because of who they love, I'm sorry for you. Yes, you and I get blessings for that. We are who we are. And I quite frankly say, whoever already has their husbands and their wives, I'm not talking about any of them. Why should I? I'm by myself. I mean, I like being by myself, but I'm not encouraging anybody to be single either. It's, it's what's good for you, that's it, what's good for you. And people's children are their children. I don't think anybody's child is a scarlet letter. If somebody's child was a scarlet letter, we could say the whole time people were enslaved is a big scarlet letter. But guess what? children have no choice in being born whether they're in a quote marriage or they're children of uh, the enslavement that my offer or rape or otherwise children are innocents and they can't be labeled the parents can be labeled but that's it and we're all human and you cannot cast stones at anybody because that stone gonna come back and hit you right in your head like a boomerang. So, all I can say is pick the person that's best for you. And if in that idea, you decide that you have to marry somebody that looks like you and thinks like you and makes it easier for you to integrate into your community, then by all means do that. But if you've already married somebody that's in a different ethnic group or whatever, do you. You don't have to excuse yourself to anybody or, you know, why make apologies? Just be happy. Be happy. That's what I say. Be happy. You're loving who you love. Nobody can judge you. 
Because like I was saying, most of the people who's telling people to not be with somebody, just be alone, other than being with a perfect person, they have nobody. And the person throwing stones at people, talking about people, children, have zero children. So anyways, please, do you be happy. Don't talk about other people's family. Accept the skin you're in. Try to live happy, healthy lives. Please try to stay away from, quote, beauty treatments that can hurt you, including fat manipulation on your thighs and, and butts, because I'll be sad if you get a fat embolus trying to manipulate your fat from your thigh to your butt when you just find the way you are. Whether you have a pancake butt like my friend that I used to work with in Galveston, Texas, <laughs> she was a nurse. She was always doing exercise at work, trying to make her flat pancake butt big. And I told her, just relax. Your husband apparently likes women with pancake butts so he wouldn't have married you, you know? Like, why change who you are for anybody? What's the point? Love you just the way you are. No matter what butt, what hair, whether you bald-headed, it doesn't matter. Love yourself just the way you are. We are not our hair. We are not our behinds. We are not our skin tones. I'm glad I grew up with my mom and I was glad I found out who my dad was and that let me know why I look like I look. It's nothing I did to make myself look this way. I just am, and I'm happy about it. I love me just like I am, and I sure hope you do too. I hope you've been reading, doing social distancing. I have. I've collected books all my life since the first time the nuns took me to the library. I have all kinds of books, <laughs> and one day I want to build multiple libraries in the motherland and share it with the people there. Everybody in my community will be able to go to the library that I build. Hopefully somebody out there, lots of somebodies, will donate so that Habasia can build a library in the Gambia. Hopefully start building it next year. Hopefully I'll be going there this year and look at lots of land with potential. But as I get the funds to buy the land for the library, I'll buy the land and then start building it. But for right now, I'm just visualizing it and sharing with you guys my love for books. Here's another book that's in my library. And another thing, not all African Americans are the same. Yes, we do have a common history, just like all other people that came from the transatlantic enslavement period, the Ma'afa. My family on my mom's side anyway was Creole. They are Creoles, we are Creoles. My dad's side, I'm still learning about Creoles uh, or what he was. I, I'm really not quite sure of what all he was. I'm believing that he probably was Gullah Geechee. I think, you know, because my cousin, Lyle, he's like 95% African. And to be 95% African, it's like my son, my my youngest son, Ashadu, is like 97% African, and his daddy is 100% Nigerian. So, 
Let's say the only people I know in the United States that's pretty much like that, the Gullah Geechee. Here's the book that started it all. My thought process about where I came from was Roots with Alex Haley. And it's amazing that it was in the Gambia that all this happened. And that's where my grandmother's, the core family, that's where her ancestors came from. I can't wait to go back to the Gambia and start learning more and more about the family. Hopefully go back to the village of Kora people. Let me read uh, a quote from this African American quotations. Let me say, find the one on heaven. It says, there's no heaven or hell in the sense that they are places one goes after death. The heaven or hell which one goes is right here. Right there in a span of years that we spend in this body on earth. Let me repeat, there is no heaven or hell in the sense that they are places one goes after death. The heaven or hell to which one goes is right there in the span of years that we spend in this body on earth. And that was by Adam Clayton Powell Jr. 1908-1972, Minister of U.S. Congress. Okay, uh, another one. Heaven is where you'll be when you are okay right where you are. I'm going to read that again. Heaven is where you'll be when you are okay, right where you are. Sun Ra, 1914-1993, musician. <laughs> and that's how I felt when I was in the Gambia last time at Mama Africa's. When the sun was up, rising, I felt like, oh, this is a little bit of heaven. Okay, about hell. If hell is what we are taught it is, then there will be more Christians there than all the days in creation. I'll repeat that. If hell is what we are taught it is, then there will be more Christians there than all the days in creation. Marcus Garvey. 1887-1904, nationalist leader. And I'll end with this, a quote on heroes. What has suddenly happened is that the white race has lost its heroes. Worse, its heroes have been revealed as villains and its greatest heroes as art villains. Eldridge Cleaver, 1935-1998, Black Panther Party Leader. Another one. One day the South will recognize its real heroes. Martin Luther King Jr., 1929-1968, Civil Rights Activist and Nobel Laureate. Okay. History. If you want Negro history, you will have to get it from somebody who wore the shoe. And by and by, one to the other, you will get a book. Anonymous, former slave. I'll repeat that. If you want Negro history, you will have to get it from somebody who wore the shoe. And by and by, 
one to the other, you will get a book, anonymous, a former slave. Okay, heritage. I had a rich, I had a heritage rich and nearer than the tongue, which gave it voice. My mind resounded with the words and my blood raced to the rhythm. Maya Angelou, 1928, novelist and poet. Another one says, 1089. I hope that when my life ends, I will be added a little beauty perception. I, I would have added a little beauty perception and quality to those who follow. Jacob Lawrence. 1917 painter and then 1090 children are begging to know who they are up until 14 a child needs to have a strong background in his or her heritage before he or she goes out into the world jackie turnage i like these quotes i think i'll share a little bit of it with you on my next videos but until, until then, I hope you enjoyed hearing my thoughts about beauty and loving yourself just the way you are. You're beautiful. Viva the difference. You don't have to change for anybody. You don't have to prove your worth to anybody. If you change, change because is something that you want for yourself, not because you think that somebody else is, is better. Nobody has a better butt than you. Nobody has better eyes than you. Nobody has better hair than you. Nobody has prettier skin than you because you are unique. Your parents created you in their very image. We have to love our parents. They created us. If it wasn't for them, we would not be. So, love yourself. Love your parents. Love your brother and your sister. <laughs> Until my next video, I'm telling you, love, <laughs> peace, or as some of you guys say, peace. <laughs> Power to the people. And I'm out, y'all. Bye. Oh, sorry, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Like, share, comment down below. I'm out, y'all. <laughs>